here, Bare Knuckle News fans. I have Tom Schoff after his big win here at BKFC 17. Tom, quite a performance. Thank you very much. How you feeling? I feel great. I feel great. You know, I feel like I, uh, I came here, down here and I accomplished the goal that I set out to accomplish, you know, so I can't be much happier. I feel like you kind of, we spoke yesterday, but I feel like you really stuck to your game plan. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? You know, we uh, we had a game plan of just being fast and being first. I had to go out there and I had to find my timing. I had to find his timing, uh, use the jab, use the range, and finish with speed. Um, I was fortunate that we didn't have to do all of that. You know, we were able to get the job done pretty quick tonight. So it worked out. I know I don't need to ask you this question because I know you're at the right weight now. But for fans who have not been following BKFC, let's kind of get a little recap and talk a little bit about how important it is to be fighting at the right weight class because it certainly made a big difference for you, Tom. Absolutely. You know, it's crucial. Uh, my first fight, I uh, fought at 165. I got knocked out um, in the first round. My second fight, I rematched that guy at 165, and I was able to get a TKO finish in the fourth um, third fight was at 170 against Julian Lane, made it to a decision, but I lost it. Uh, we got fight of the night. Fourth fight was against Joe Elmore, made it to a decision, got fight of the night, got fight of the year, but I lost it. Um, and then I made my way down to 155, you know, so now I'm at 155. I'm at my natural weight class and people feel it when I hit them, you know, plain and simple. You saw that tonight. We sure do that. Those body shots were pretty incredible. Let's talk about that. Um, I love the body work. It's one of those things that uh, you could be in the best shape of your life, uh, but if I hit you in the body and I hit you properly, you're not going to get up. You're, 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 you physically cannot do it. Uh, you hit the liver and you shut the liver down. You hit the sternum. You shut the sternum down, the solar plexus area, and people are going to go down. They're going to give up. Um, you can be in cellar shape and take a thousand shots to the head, but if I hit you once to the body, chances are you're going to go down. So I really try to utilize that more now that I'm here and now that I'm in my proper weight class fighting guys that are big and tall like that. They're all body, you know? Who do you want next, Tom? Mm. Um, I can't go as far as saying that I want to fight Luis Palomino, even though I do. Uh, I do, but I want to earn that, okay. you know? Um, so anybody who's fought Luis, you know, Isaac Valley Flag, Jim Allers, uh, I would say Elvin Brito, but I love Elvin, and he fights at 165. He's got good things going on with him, so you know we'll we'll, we'll cut him out of the picture for a little bit. But anybody who's been in there with Lewis, um, anybody who's a top contender at 155, anybody who's going to get me that much closer to my belt, that's who I want to fight. All right, I can't wait to see your next fight. We're oh, going to no, fish I'm, bump. No, we're going to shake it up. We're going to shake it up now. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> got to do this now. I'll give you a little bit. Hey.